as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Play action. Now Taylor. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. Check four, check four. Darius Geis, his first carry of the game. And he will not get there as they stop him short right around the 34-yard line. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. It's fourth down. now in their own territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard and now before they run this play on fourth and one we're going to get a break and a timeout they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll run forward love. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The 37-yard line. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Taylor to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Number 34. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Coming up on second and seven. Guys, and he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. Here's a quick throw out left. It's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's good. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. On first down, this is Geis. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain, too. And 
Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. A first carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. At the 28-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. 25-yard line. the ground it's guys they get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red Malik has a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're gonna smother it but a lot of the blitzers they come in a little bit high they don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side with the carry on second down. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles' 13-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. On first down, here's Love. And he is into the end zone for Washington.
We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with Carson Wentz and the Philadelphia Eagles. Time for a much needed and much welcome diversion. The NFL is back. Here we go, week one. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. But conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. First carry for Darius Geis. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 32-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun handoff now to Geis. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. for Bryce Love. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Brings up third down and six. They go play action now, Taylor. And Latimer's got it. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. On first down, this is Geis. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. Geis, the ball carry. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. And five. Working with second and five now. Now Taylor. Now they go screen. It's complete. They give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. So third and two. This quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A three-yard touchdown run. And Washington takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. 
A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical. They gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's where the knockout occurs. And yeah, becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. First and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. And he'll throw right away. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. But Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Third down. Sanders and he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there they have the first down with that gain of four yards a four yard pickup on the play first down Philadelphia on first down Wentz but he's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Eagles. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Shotgun now for Wentz. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. He's going to let this complete. Wentz Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. Kendall Fuller there on the coverage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. There's Jalen Rager, his first NFL catch. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. Cameron now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Washington, seven, Eagles, nothing. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. This time Taylor will throw. 
looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That's good. Give them 32 on the play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll run with Muhammad. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. Muhammad, the ball carrier. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Back at the 45-yard line. That's well short of the first. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here's the Pro Bowl punter, Tress Way, on to punt for Washington, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off, and he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick. Constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays. But you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. He was taking yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Wentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. And this is caught by Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing.
We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. Wentz now on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Again, it's Wentz. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 32-yard line. And an eagle first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Wentz on the give to Sanders. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. He was taken down by Ruben Foster. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 25-yard line. From the 25 on second down, Wentz. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him to have two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Jatavis Brown there on the tackle. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Side complete to Moss. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. This time they stay on the ground. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So first and 10 now from the 30. This is Geis. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second and 11 now. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. To throw on third down. Taylor slings this deep from McLaurin. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 20. Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. 
Takes it at the seven. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. At their own 32 yard line. offense set to begin their next drive. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset, but typically halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Now this throw caught left side. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Deshaun Jackson scoring a touchdown against his former mates. There the Eagles are back with it a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Washington takes over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. A good run there to start the drive. 13 yards, first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Geis with a carry on second down, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now what a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. now Taylor on first down he's gonna let this one go for Latimer that's gonna be caught and he takes it in touchdown Washington Washington Cody Latimer 49 yards and Washington gonna add on to their lead it's good and it is now 21 to 7 makes this Washington 21 Eagles. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And a heck of a return as he goes out of bounds across the 50 inside the 45. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. Throwing on first is Wentz. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense. And that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. 
Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Wins. And that's going to be intercepted. Landon Collins, the Pro Bowl safety. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And the drive begins with a run by Geis. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Taylor. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 12 yards there and a first down. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine at the Eagles' 47-yard line. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. A one-yard pickup brings up third and eight. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Here's Muhammad. And he's taken down inside the 30. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. And we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. On the carry, it's Muhammad. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. But officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. Now they'll throw with Taylor. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. A loss of one. Now a loss of two. And they're staring at a third and 13. 13. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. They'll run it. This is Muhammad. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. So now on fourth down, Washington will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Dustin Hopkins for the Washington field goal. A 41-yard attempt. 
Hopkins kick is good and that'll push the lead up to 17 so with that you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point yeah it's gonna take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down but don't change that channel don't go away miracles can happen and you want to be here in case it does you're a company man aren't I though And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Give him nine there on the first down completion. A gain of nine. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Second and ten. Wentz on the draw, leaves it for Sanders. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. The Eagles on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. Open and it's right. First down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 40, 17 yards and a first down for Philly. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10, right at the 40. Here's Wentz to throw. They'll hit Jackson complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 more yards. They had 17 on the previous snap as well. Eagle first down. Wentz now on first down. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Complete. Deshaun Jackson. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Eagles get a score closer. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. Washington, 24. Eagles, 14. Jake Elliott to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Darius Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Check 
They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. They'll try and get it with Geis. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. First and 10 at the 37-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Slings this deep from McLaurin. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 57 yards. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want, but there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw, it's Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They face a third and four after that last completion gets him six. Play fake to Sanders, now here's Wentz. It's caught by Jackson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Jackson. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout. And they hook up again for another big play. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Definitely desperation time. This just looks like, hey, throw it down there. Hope that your guy can make a play. You want him to make a play, but if not, maybe you get a pass interference call, and you know in the NFL, that's a spot foul. You get all that yardage. That would be a big play. Wentz will try again on second down. He's going to let it fly. And this is taken in at the five. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Touchdown. Marquise Goodwin, 43 yards. And the Eagles make some inroads here on that deficit. Wentz to throw. And that one is caught. So they convert here and don't look now, but this one's back to a one-score game. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. 
And this will be recovered by Washington, and that should just about do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Darius Geis. It was Eric Reed in on the stop. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last sentence.